हेलो माय डियर व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू सिंपलीफाइड सिविल एंड जियोटेक्निकल इंजीनियरिंग चैनल आई एम अक्षय जायसवाल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टाइप्स ऑफ पाइप्स यूज्ड फॉर कन्वेयंस ऑफ वाटर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट कास्ट आयन पाइप कॉन्क्रीट पाइप लेड पाइप व्रॉट आयन पाइप एजबेस्टॉस पाइप स्टील पाइप कॉपर पाइप प्लास्टिक पाइप सीमेंट लाइंड पाइप एंड विट्रीफाइड क्ले पाइप्स सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज लेक्चर Chapter name Conveyance and Distribution of Water Point number 1 Types of pipes used for conveyance of water Now we will see types of pipes first one is cast iron pipe second is concrete pipe third lead pipe next one is wrought iron pipe fifth one is asbestos pipe number 6 plastic pipe number 7 steel pipe number 8 copper pipe and last one is GI pipe Now we will discuss factors affecting selection of pipe material. It depends upon carrying capacity of the pipes, durability of the pipe, type of water to be conveyed and its possible corrosive effects on the pipe material and availability of funds and last one is maintenance cost and repairs. Pipes are circular conduits in which water flows under pressure. Now we will see types of pipes the following types of pipes are used in water supply system first one is cast iron pipes cast iron pipes are mostly used in water supply schemes these pipes are highly resistant to corrosion they have a life of about 100 years types of cast iron pipes are horizontal cast iron pipe and vertical cast iron pipes Horizontal cast iron pipes are 100% stronger in tension and 50% stronger in rupture than the vertical cast iron pipes. Now we will see advantages of CI pipes. The cost of CI pipe is moderate. The pipes are easy to join. The pipes are not affected by corrosion. The pipes are strong and durable. the service connections can be easily made now we will see disadvantages of ci pipes the breakages of this pipe are large point number 2 the carrying capacity of this pipes decreases with the increase in life of pipes point number 4 the pipes become heavier and uneconomical especially when their size increases beyond 1200 mm diameter therefore difficult to transport and last one is these pipes are brittle therefore they may gets easily cracked and breaks now we will see wrought iron pipes advantages of wrought iron pipes wrought iron pipes are more lighter easily cut threaded and worked and it gives neat appearance if used in interior works now we will see disadvantages these pipes are more costly and less durable now we will see steel pipes steel pipes are used for main lines where pressure are high and diameter is more let's see advantages of steel pipes point number 1 the pipes are light in weight and therefore it becomes easy to transport them point number 2 The pipes are available in large lengths and hence the number of joints become less. Point number 3, the pipes are durable and strong enough to resist high internal water pressure. Point number 4, the pipes are flexible to some extent and they can be therefore be laid easily on curves. Point number 
the pipes are flexible to some extent and they can therefore be laid easily on curves now we will see disadvantages of steel pipes point number 1 these pipes are much affected by corrosion life period of steel pipes is 25 to 50 years point number 3 it is difficult in making connections point number 3 difficult in making connections point number 4 the maintenance cost is high point number 5 the pipes are likely to be rusted by slightly acidic or alkaline water point number 6 the pipes require more time for repairs during breakdown and hence they are not suitable for distribution pipes point number 7 steel pipes cannot withstand external load and they are likely to deform in shape under the combined actions of external and internal loads next type is concrete pipe it is used when water does not flow under pressure and concrete pipes are used up to 600 mm diameter and pipes above 600 mm diameter are reinforced now we will see specifications of concrete pipes first one is mixture it is 1 is to 2 is to 2 aggregate size used are 6 mm reinforcement it is 0.25% and thickness is 25 to 65 mm for 10 to 120 cm diameter pipes now we will see cement lined iron pipes these pipes are used when water contains corrosive elements specifications of cement lined pipes are mortar used is of 1 is to 1 and thickness is 5 to 6 mm advantages of cement lined iron pipes point number 1 life is more than 745 years next one is they can be easily constructed on site and factories less coefficient of expansion and last one is unaffected by the force of buoyancy even if empty due to heavy weight now we will see disadvantages of cement lined iron pipes they are affected by acids and repairs are very difficult transportation and laying cost of this pipe is high difficult to make connections and last disadvantage of this pipe is porosity may cause cracks our next type is asbestos pipes these pipes are used as small size distribution pipes specification of asbestos pipe diameter is 5 to 130 cm let's say advantages first one is they are light in weight and hence it is easy to handle and transport asbestos pipes can be easily cutted fitted drilled and jointed next one advantage is they are unaffected by corrosive element the inside surface of pipes is very smooth next advantage is the joining of the pipes is very good and flexible next one is these pipes are anti corrosive and cheap in cost last advantage of this pipe is they are very suitable for distribution pipes of small size next point is disadvantages of asbestos pipes these pipes are brittle and are not durable next disadvantage is these pipes cannot be laid in exposed places and last disadvantage is these pipes can be used only for few low pressures next type is copper pipe these pipes are used under following condition first one is for making goose neck in the house connection and second one is pipes carrying hot water inside building advantage of copper iron pipe is they are not liable to corrode and they can be easily bent and do not sag if hot water is used next type of pipe is lead pipes these pipes are used in sanitary fittings and 
in water supply these pipes are mostly used in chlorination and alum dosing advantage of lead pipe is this pipe can be easily bent and they can withstand with high pressure now let's discuss disadvantages of lead pipes first one is it can cause poisoning and it may sag when hot water is used now let's discuss next type of pipe which is wooden pipe specification of wooden pipe are as follows they are manufactured up to length of 7 meter and life span of wooden pipe is 30 to 35 years now let's see advantages of wooden pipes point number 1 they are easy to repair and light in weight they are unaffected by corrosive water and last one is they are cheap and easily laid now let's discuss disadvantages of wooden pipes they may collapse under external load and decay due to wet rot now we will discuss about plastic pipes the plastic pipes are available in the following forms first one is low density polyethylene pipe which is known as ldpe second type is high density polyethylene pipe which is known as hdpe and last category is and last one is polyvinyl chloride pipe which is known as pvc now we will see advantages of plastic pipes first one is plastic pipes are corrosive resistant second one is these pipes are very economical third one is these pipes are cheap durable and they possess enough strength to resist impact sunlight and atmospheric actions fourth one is these pipes are good electric insulators and last one is the pipes are light in weight and it is easy to bend join and install them now we will see disadvantages of plastic pipes first one is these pipes are not to be used at high temperature that is above 45 degree centigrade because their coefficient of expansion for plastic is high second disadvantage is they are not as strong as gi or ci pipes that is galvanized iron or cast iron pipes third disadvantage of plastic pipe is thermal expansion coefficient is higher than galvanized iron or cast iron pipes fourth one is it is difficult to obtain the plastic pipes of uniform composition fifth one is the pipes are less resistant to heat and last one is some types of plastics may impart unpleasant taste to the water now we will see vitrified clay pipes these pipes are used to carry sewage and drain water and advantages of vitrified clay pipes are they are less corrosive and these pipes provides smooth surface for flow disadvantages of these pipes are life is less and difficult to repair hope you like the information given in this video if you are watching my channel for first time then click on subscribe and share with all your friends thanks for watching jai hind vande mataram